so crazy that I did not even think it was real when I first saw it. It's real. Can you tell us, sir, Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? Do you think the conviction will have an impact on the campaign? We'd love to hear your thoughts, sir. Should he be on the ballot, sir? And if it wasn't crazy enough, right, that his reaction is to turn and give his shit-eating grin, yeah, you know, I may mean, have had something to do with it. What's your response to that, sir? I mean, that's crazy, right? Anybody watching this knows that he's basically like doing a dark Brandon skit. We're supposed to think that there's plausible deniability, who knows what he's really saying or thinking, but can you imagine if Trump did something like this? The news, the media would become completely unglued at what this would mean if Trump did it. Like they would have nonstop discussions 24 hours a day about what this meant in the news if Trump had done it. But Dark Brandon does it, it's just, nah, well. <laughs> just a little wink and a nod about the reality of things. And if that isn't crazy enough, the news reporters ramp it up to full dictator status, acting like we're in North Korea and asking our dictator, hey, do you think that Trump should even be on the ballot? Should he be on the ballot, sir? You're asking a president in a democracy if there's people who should be able to run against him or not. America what? Freedom who? Like, no, all that's, that's not a thing anymore. That's not the country we live in now. Like, clearly, not at all.